in Karnataka, especially in the district of uh, Tumkur. Okay. All right. Sir, can I just ask you to stay with us? Sir, Sanket Yanagi from the Congress is also with us. Uh, sir, thank you so much for joining us here on CNN News 18. Mr. Yanagi, I just want to understand from you a slightly different question from the one I directed towards Tanvir Ahmed. We saw these, these same two groups, the VHP and the Bajrang Dal, make very similar calls last year too and in fact successfully managed uh, to, to keep traders from setting up their stalls in certain parts of the state. Sir, I want to understand, does your party want to see the BJP take a more vociferous stand on this entire issue so that this year we don't see similar take place? So, as such, the Chief Minister and the Council of Ministers are representatives of the entire state of Karnataka. That's not, they are not the representatives of only particular community right. that they must understand. And secondly, when they have come to power, they have to do welfare things for everyone, irrespective of the community and other things. They have to keep aside their personal egos, personal sentiments, and the welfare of the state is important, the peace and harmony in the state is important, the peace they need to concentrate upon. And I pointed out uh, the other day as well, and now Mr. Tanvir Ahmed also has said, that there are some fringe elements which would disrepute the government. So the government must be cautious of these things which are disreputing the government, disreputing the state's legacy of, and heritage and also the peace and harmony in the state. And the government should see that such friend elements are booked and under the stringent provisions of law so that such incidents should not occur in the state of Karnataka. And if the government is keeping quiet, it, it, it itself means that government is directly or indirectly supporting such fringe elements in order to cover up its administrative lacuna and the government in order to see that uh, the, somehow it has got some political uh, say battleground for the purpose of polarization of votes is indulging in such cheap tactics which may not be appropriate or suitable for any democracy and any for any welfare state. The government should at least now realize that what matters to the people is the peace and harmony, what matters to the state of Karnataka is the development, what matters is the heritage, what matters is the, uh, the collective responsibility and collective taking over to the next stage of all the communities. If the government okay. doesn't realize this minimum thing, then it is unfit to be in power. It is better that they have proved to be, since they have already proved to be corrupt, and they have already proved to be incompetent. Better for them to resign and okay. go for the election. Tanvir Ahmed, Sanket Yanagi, thank you so much for joining us. That's both the JDS and the Congress railing against the BJP in the state of Karnataka. The state of Karnataka, as we just said, headed in for elections in just a few months from now. The BJP hoping very much to be able to retain power against a Congress that is raring to go. It is time right now for a short